Welcome back uh, now to our next conversation. United States government has commenced the construction of a new consulate office in Lagos, which should be the largest globally. It's come to Nigerians as a surprise, and it's uh, quite groundbreaking. Estimated at $537 million, the new consulate office will occupy 12.2 acre space in the rapidly developing uh, Eco Atlantic City would provide a modern space for the largest consular operation in Africa. For more about this project, we have joined us Stephen Belli, U.S. Consulate Public Affairs uh, Officer, live on Business Morning. Great to have you. Thank you, Ladi, very much. It's, and, it's great. Uh, happy great to, holidays. Happy holidays, and happy holidays to all of you out there, all of you. Happy holidays and happy Eid. Thank you for that. And, uh, wow, quite a groundbreaking Absolutely. Uh, project there. And uh, I'm wondering, why is the U.S. government building the largest consulate in Nigeria? Well, there, you know, there are a lot of reasons, Ladi. One is Nigeria is the biggest democracy. It's the biggest country. Um, it's the biggest economy, arguably, in Africa. And so there was a strong, strong, strong partnership with, with Nigeria since, you know, since 1960. Uh, for 62 years, we have had a very, very strong partnership. In addition to that, there is really growing ties, cultural, artistic, music, entertainment, uh, with, with the United States. 500,000 Nigerians live in the United States. When I ask people, where do you think, you know, Nigerians outside of Nigeria live? People say, oh, Canada, England, somebody said Ukraine last week, and actually <laughs> it's the United States. Wow. Um, and so you have over 100,000 Nigerians also traveling um, back and forth as well, and it's the biggest source of immigration. Um, to the United States. There are th over 13,000 students, Nigerian students. Nigeria is actually the seventh large, the tenth largest sending country of students um, to the United States. That's number one in Africa and number, number 10 in the world. And that's why we need the biggest consulate. Absolutely. Right and now. so that, that really is a symbol of the partnership, the strong partnership across all many sectors, our health, uh, the health sector, the education sector, the security sector, for example, Ladi. So there's, it really symbolizes that strong, strong, strong partnership between, uh, between the two countries. Quite, quite incredible. But uh, what does the U.S. You know, stand to gain from this project also? Well, again, it's, it's all about the relationship. We are the government. And so we're not a company. Um, and so our bottom line is a little bit different than a company. It's not profits, but it's impact. Um, and we have a lot of impact in Nigeria, working with Nigerian partners, uh, again, across all of those different, all of those different sectors. And so that is really the gain. It's the impact. It's the relationship. It's strengthening the bond uh, between the two countries. We work at that every day. That is our job to strengthen and deepen that relationship with the Nigerian government, working in partnership with civil society, with the government, with businesses, with American businesses, with Nigerian businesses, with entrepreneurs, uh, with students, for example. So we really, really are quite proud. A, quite an important job. It is. Uh, it is. Well, you know what? Uh, features should Nigerians, you know, expect, you know, from this uh, new uh, project? Well, you know, as you mentioned, the groundbreaking, it was this huge event. Um, the, the actual campus is five, five hectares of land, as you mentioned, 12.2 acres. Right. And so there's going to be a 10-story building. Um, there will be bigger consular waiting areas, more consular windows, for example. Um, it'll be a huge, huge campus, parking, recreational facilities, all at Echo Atlantic. Um, um, the con uh, Echo Atlantic development. Quite so, interesting. I like the recreational part also. Yeah, yeah. No, it, <laughs> yeah, it would be, you know, because we work and we live in, you know, those areas, and so there's a lot there, but it, it will be really a fantastic building. And, and also, not only that, but it will also be a green building. And so we're going for the silver certification for LEED, uh, which is a is a internationally recognized environmentally uh, sound building uh, designation. In addition to that, we're going to feature art from Nigerian artists and American artists, again, to demonstrate that those close ties. Um, there are more Nigerian artists going to the United States as well, um, and that is really, really growing. Look at Rela Gallery, just opened up um, their gallery in Los Angeles, for example. That's just one symbol. Uh, Nigerian artists are going now to um, to art, art exhibitions and art shows where you've never seen that really happening before. So there's a lot happening really in the creative quite, space. Quite interesting. That means I could just come visit, you know. And welcome, Ladi, please. The project is actually completed. Well, as they say in Nigeria, you are welcome.
<laughs> so, uh, how would you describe the U.S. Uh, Niger bilateral economic relationship? Well, it's it's really growing. Um, you know, you see American companies investing here, 5.5 billion in really direct investment. Um, there's a 10 billion dollar trading relationship between Nigeria and the United States. That's one of the biggest in Africa. Uh, Kimberly Clark just opened a hundred million dollar factory in Okorodu. Uh, where they're manufacturing diapers. That's led to over 1,000 direct jobs, 5,000 indirect jobs. Um, also very interesting, there uh, is a dairy farm that we've done with our Foreign Agricultural Service uh, in Ikiti, um, where they're producing about 10,000 liters of milk uh, daily. Uh, and the cows came from the United States. Um, and we didn't ship them by boat, we flew them. Wow. So we call them the flying dairy cows of Akiti <laughs> um, as well. But that's a great symbol of, again, of that, of that partnership and, and that relationship. So that, that's, that's showing support for, you know, the agri uh, value chain uh, at this point. Quite interesting. But how does the U.S. government support, you know, women's inclusive uh, participation in the Nigerian society? Yeah, we're very, very focused on that. And, and the reason why is because when women do better, Families do better, societies do better, communities do better. And so we really want to level that playing field, that have that gender parity, whether that's in political inclusion, whether that's in economic uh, inclusion, whether that's in domestic you know, violence, which we work on as well. Um, because th that is the simple fact, that when you invest in women, you are investing in your country. And you can't have half a country working. You have to have a country in full, men and women working together towards the prosperity towards the development of of that country and that's what we work on in nigeria quite interesting and uh, i hear you have uh, an academy for that it's called the academy for women, women entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs that's uh, a w e o yeah or or or, or. or, or they say <laughs> Awe. 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 here quite interesting. Talk yeah about that. um well we we've started we started in uh, 2019. Um, and we basically have a model that is modeled uh, from the Arrow State University uh, Thunderbird School of Management. And the women really understand how they can grow their business. Women who enter either have a business idea or they have an established business already. Um, and they're trained in how to get funding, how to grow their business, how to manage their business. Um, and since then, we have seen a, a huge growth uh, in this program. Not not only in Nigeria, but across the world, but especially in Nigeria. Um, and it's out of our Department of State, uh, Washington office, and they have been really supportive of increasing this. Uh, so last year we had 250 uh, candidates. Um, there were 15,000 applications. 15,000. 15, um, and we just closed now an application for another 250, and we had 17,000 um, applications. It really shows the strength of this brand um, for this Academy for Women Entrepreneurs because they also are a network and they help each other. Um, I go to pop ups, I've helped some friends with some pop ups, um, and every time I go to these, I always see one of our Academy for Women Entrepreneurs having her booth or exhibiting or selling. Um, uh, that was true also at the GT Food Show, for example, food and drink show over the weekend. I saw a couple as well. So it's it's really, really amazing seeing how these women are growing uh, and developing their businesses. Well, is there some provision for funding? Because we know funding is... Uh, an issue when it comes to MSMEs in, in, the, in this country? No, absolutely. Um, well, one thing is when they graduate, they become uh, government alumni and they okay. become part of that part of that network. And so they're, they're really uh, eligible for grants from the United States, for example, uh, or from the consulate. The African Development Fund has funded several of them, uh, up to $10,000 of funding. We've gotten private sector partners. The Venture Garden Group is now a partner uh, in supporting this AWE, or AWE, uh, uh, Academy for Women Entrepreneurs Program. Um, and so it, it, it's really starting really to grow and, and involve also, you know, Nigerian, Nigerian industry and Nigerian banks. We have talked to the Bank of Industry, for example, Lego State Government as well. So we hope that they also will, will come on board and, and further support uh, this wonderful program. So, so for women that want to be a part of this, mm -hmm. like, well, what is the selection process like for the 
a whale or a program. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's open to women from 18 to 45. Um, they have to either have a business idea or they have an established business already. Um, they have to be able to dedicate about five hours a week in group sessions as well. And they have to be a little bit computer literate, be able to use the computer, use the internet, have an internet connection. Um, but that's basically it. And then they submit the application and every application is read and evaluated by multiple teams until we have distilled it down uh, to this case, 200, 250. Are there particular sectors you actually target for you know, people that want to enroll in this? Ladi, that's a great question. You know, it's amazing uh, the, the ideas these women have. Some are working in the automotive industry, um, you know, auto body fixing. Um, a couple of them have security companies, uh, recycling, upcycling, clothing, fashion, agribusiness, food as well. Uh, and we work with them too because um, they can export to the United States. You have to meet certain standards. Uh, the biggest one is not having adulterated, uh, adulterated products, but we work with them because there are opportunities for, for these women also in Nigeria, but also exporting to the United States. Some even have open shops in the UK, for example. Um, but we want those shops in the US. In the US. <laughs> so how's the mentoring, is that some kind of mentoring yes. you know, program for, for these uh, women? Yeah, mentoring is really part of this program. And what's amazing about this program is though even though they're women entrepreneurs and you would think they would be competing with each other they're really supportive um, and they help each other and they have a network and so the network really helps each other out I think it also helps that not all of them are in the same industry so they're not just competing across one across one industry and I think that that really really helps and they have again an alumni association now that also supports them after they've graduated uh, from the program and so we're really 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 proud of all of our entrepreneurs quite interesting and yeah. I know you're you're big on entertainment, you know, in mm -hmm. uh, Nigeria. And I'm going to ask you, what's your, what's your best Nigerian song? Well, I mean, I really like... Um, genre? I, I'm sorry? Your genre. What genre well, you I like? mean, you know, Afrobeats is like taking the world by storm. Right. Um, you know, the Headies is going to be in Atlanta this year, in September. Right. Um, so, you know, whether it's Burna Boy, Wizkid, I mean, I love the song Finesse. You know, I sing that all yeah, the that's time. A that's a great song. <laughs> that's a great song. Uh, I was right. in a restaurant, um, you know, a few months ago. I saw Tem walk in um, you know for example so it's it's really really amazing Quite interesting now it's Quite great that there's that continuing connection there's connections exactly. through entertainment also agriculture for example we're bringing the cow pea here so you can have your akata your moimoi moi right with there. Yeah, right there with <laughs> with American uh, cow peas that Quite we've developed with Nigerian authorities and so we're just so happy about the relationship Quite interesting. We're looking forward to the uh, completion of these projects and all other projects you're working on. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming on the program. Thanks, Larry. And uh, Stephen Ibelli, U.S. Consulate Public Affairs uh, Officer, it was great of you giving us your, your holiday. No, no, thank you very much. And you'll be the first invited to the, to the, when we commission the building. Fantastic. We'll thank see you, you there. Thank you so much. Thanks, Larry.